Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're talking about replacing your regular chain with polychain. And in order to get some great information on that, we brought in Tom Kunkel, he is with Gates, and he's gonna tell us all about it. Tom, welcome to set, man, how are Thanks. you? Thanks, thanks for having me. Hey, nice great to, to have you here, man. Hey, give us a little background on polychain before we actually tell everybody why this stuff is so great. Yeah, this is what the polychain is. This is an mm -hmm. example of our 19 millimeter extend length polychain GT car. These are manufactured in Kentucky okay. and are widely known for performance with no maintenance. Wow. Gates has expanded the polychain line of products, now covering static conductivity requirements, larger pitches to replace massive roller chain drives, and now the ability to handle longer center distances where really the only solution previously was chain. Now, Tom, why are long center distances important to consider with polychain? You, you kind of emphasize that. Yeah, so historically very large and heavy. You can mm -hmm. feel this poly this roller chain oh example there. Oh my gosh, there. this is really heavy. Wow. Was really the only option for long center distances. All right, let's not break anything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is but heavy. Roller chain is suitable if you have the budget, mm -hmm. the manpower for maintenance and lubrication, and the time for the replacement intervals and the downtime that associate with that. And then also the safety risks that come with maintaining an oil bath. So now Gates Polychain GT Carbon Solution mm -hmm. Uh, you can experience tremendous weight savings. Feel the yeah. difference. In oh that. my gosh, wow. And maintenance savings as well, because you don't have to do the lubrication and all the maintenance that comes with I like the this. chain. Wow. Much difference on the weights versus that roller chain that you just saw. Now, what about the performance? Sacrificing any performance on not, this? Not sacrificing one bit of performance. Okay, Equivalent now what, or greater with that poly chain versus the roller chains. Okay, now what kind of weight savings are we talking about here? Because this is ridiculously light compared to that clunky chain I just picked up. Yeah, I guess let's take an example, a recent example. Okay. So we recently had a conversion that was a double 200 roller chain drive, 5,600 millimeters in total length. In this case, the roller chain weighed almost 400 pounds. That was almost 22 pounds per foot. Now we take our polychain solution from right. Gates, the extended length. Yeah. Now that we can do the longer lengths, that was a total weight of 17 pounds. So 400 versus 17, a 1 20th of the weight. So the entire weight of the poly chain was less than one foot of the, oh my gosh, that is real. 400 pounds yeah. versus 17? Exactly. Oh, there's no way, that, that, that's amazing. That's true, right? That's true. That's really? correct, yeah. Oh you, my. Got, you got it, Tom. You, wow. you can do the math. That, you know, po po polychain, re reason is polychain's engineered with robust carbon tensile cords, which minimize stretch and provide extraordinary strength and loading capacity equal to that of roller chain. So really what we're seeing here is the latest advancements in material science applied to power transmission applications and we're finally being able to get the benefits of that. And the polychain mm -hmm. sample is fully operational and temperature ranges from negative 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty extreme, to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So big temperature range it can handle. This is unique construction for all poly chain belts that are extremely tough and virtually immune to abrasion and chemical attack. Since poly chain belts do not require retensioning or lubrication, they make an excellent alternative to roller chains as we discussed and we saw the differences. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, they offer a much cleaner and more compact drive solution, but at the same or higher power capacity. You could feel the difference Left very oil and greasy on that versus no oil on, on the poly chain. Yeah, but I mean, if I want to replace that, I, I mean, how do I go about doing that? No, that, that's a great question. I mean, first, contact your motion rep and us. We'll come out to your site and do a site survey, which entails us taking measurements of that specific drive. And we work with our field engineers to sp specify exactly what you need. Okay, it sounds kind of custom and expensive. I mean, if you, we may not be able to afford to buy you lunch or anything like that. So. Yeah, not, not so, actually. Okay. You know, we. We strive to design drives that utilize standard products first and foremost. Of course, sometimes that doesn't work and we have modified solutions and custom solutions for both the belts and the metals, the sprockets, but almost always we come up with a suitable solution directly from our stock inventory. The main criteria for replacing the chain with the belt is the belt is continuous, continuous as you see here. Yeah. The chain comes apart with a tool and is connected in links mm -hmm. as we see here with this, this sample. So when Gates designs a drive, we, we design it for the center distances, any adjustments we have available for the center distance. We install the belt loose, verify proper alignment and tension to spec. Now what sort of benefits have customers seen who've made the switch from the clunky chain to the poly chain? What are they talking about? 
Yeah, the benefits they've seen is reduced injury risk for employees who had to replace these components, really reducing their time and the amount of intervals they have to do the replacement mm -hmm. with the roller chain they had in the past, where now that's all eliminated, and really eliminate some of the maintenance and get longer life with the belts and the sprockets, all of which directly uh, drives greater productivity with the plant and directly impacts your bottom line. Yeah, that sounds like a no-brainer, or can I say no-chainer? Is that, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, that sounds right? fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for talking us about the polychain today, Thank Tom. You for Thank me. you very much. Tom Kunkel, he is with Gates. And uh, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can contact your nearest Motion Industries branch, and they'll be able to help you out. Uh, as you saw, I had the PPE on set just in case. Uh, we didn't need it for this today, but you know you might need it for whatever job that you're doing because safety is always priority number one. Where the proper PPE. Priority number two, head to mihowto.com and make sure that you catch other videos just like this one with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.